Good morning, people. This is David J. Price, and I'm here with Bernardo Ansel. You are listening to the Lottery of Life podcast, where we go into depth on how men across the world can improve their lives through the three main areas of life, which are finances, personal development, and overall general fitness. So if you're ready to go on a journey to male improvement, then relax and have a seat because you are at the right place. Welcome to episode 10 of the Lottery of Life podcast. If you're a returning listener, then welcome back. But if it's your first time, my name is David here with Bernardo and so. And here at the Lottery of Life, we start every single episode with a quote or a motivational piece to get your mind rolling so hard. Let's hear the quote. Walking in the dark with a friend is better than walking in the light alone. Helen Keller. You want to know what's interesting about quotes, man? Every time I hear a quote, everyone has a different perspective on the quote. So what, what do you really think about this quote, man? And I'll tell you what I think about it. Uh, I mean, I think it's a, a philosophical quote. You know, it sounds good, but Phil- what, what you, I always, that's, Brent, one, of my, that's one of my gaps. Brent, that's one of my gaps. The, the the, I don't philosophical, know if it's, Brent, I don't know. For the ph- philosophical. It's a better, I, I, we'll be I, I, here trying to sound smart <laughs> using words that you don't know. I'm pretty sure that's it, bro, Philip. But basically, it's saying that, that that's an adjective that's basically saying that whatever you're talking about is something that goes along um, as a philosophy. So I, it sounds good. You know, walking in the dark is walking in the dark with a friend is better than walking in the light alone. But shit, my perspective is I would prefer to walk in the light alone because I wouldn't choose to walk in the dark. I don't think walking in the dark with anybody is better than being in the light. You know what I'm saying? Like, at least in my eyes, if I'm in the light, that means I'm able to enjoy whatever I'm doing. I'm in a better mood. It's a better part of life or a better experience. So being in the dark, just because I'm sharing that with somebody, that don't mean that we should should we sharing nothing. I mean, <laughs> like <laughs> thinking about it is, you know that that becomes another topic. You know, some things are more valuable than money because, like they'll say, you know, having like when you're going through a hard time and you have somebody going through it with you, like somebody who's there, who, a shoulder that you can lean on, like a family member or like a spouse, just somebody you know you can go through something alone and they're rocking with you, like for real, for real. Like they're not judging you; they want to help you get through it. I feel it, it helps those tough times go by a little bit better. You kind of see what I'm saying? See, it's that's, versus dealing with a tough time by yourself. That, th- th- see, that, that, look, that's, that's cool. That's cool. But for one, I didn't mention anything about money. I just say I'm in a better I'm, mood <laughs> and everything. I just say I'm in a better mood. I'm, my, I'm enjoying something better. That doesn't mean that I have to have money for one. For two, you just said that if you have some, if you're going through a hard time and you have somebody to share that with, then that okay. feeling is nice. But, you said walking in the light. Then that okay, means you ain't but, going through a hard time. But, but I'm saying if you're walking in the light by yourself, if things are going good and you by yourself, things are still going to be good, but I feel like things are going to be better. Question, question. So would you go on a, a vacation right now? Would you go on a cruise vacation by yourself? Or would you rather be at home in the States on the street with your family? Okay, so let, let me make sure. So Because I just, <laughs> you know, I, I, I'm going to go on vacation. I don't know about y'all. Ba- Real quick, it, real quick it, it, on the YouTube, depends. I want y'all to comment below whether y'all will go on a cruise vacation by yourself or be at home with your family. So All like, right, go ahead. After, oh, I'm sorry, on the street with your family. So, that's, so after the vacation, <laughs> I could come back or something like that? Or like, do I still have my family? That's the question. Not with you, no. But I'm saying, can I always come back to them? You got to be by yourself. Like forever type shit. I ain't say forever, nah. So I'm saying I'm going on vacation. Exactly. So that's walking but, in the light. But no, no, no. Yourself. But 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 listen. Like the thing that she's trying to bring home is like, let's say like if you didn't have a family to go to, would you rather have the choice of having a family or not having a family? Mm. Well, okay. Would you ten million dollars or a, a, a good a good family, or would you would you rather take ten million dollars or have a dysfunctional family, or would you take a loving family? And you know you don't you don't have ten million. Which one would you take? How much I got with, with the loving family? How much I got? So you ain't got ten million. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I, I'll take my family any day. I, I'll take the loving family. Oh, uh, you, you, you for real now? I swear, I swear. Ten, ten million dollars. Man, I can, I'm gonna make ten million. So so you gonna make ten million? You, you got that no much problem. confidence in yourself? That ain't no problem. Because nah, because I, I came from a loving family. You know what I'm saying? That that really built me to be how how great I am. Like now, my confidence is high. My I know. I'm sure of myself and everything because ever since I was a little boy, my mom and my dad literally looked me in my eyes and told me I could do anything. I could be anything. So, hell yeah, I'll take my family any day, man. You know, I agree with you, man. But you want to know a good topic I want to touch on, man? I've been reading The Art of Seduction. You ever, mm, you ever read that? Nah, so I got it. I haven't even read it yet. Man, I, you ain't got The Art of Seduction. You I got know. every book, bro. I do. Let me tell y'all something about David. David I got everything in the world that he never uses, bro. So, explain to me, why do you get all these things just to not use them? 
it's okay for one i live by this quote it's better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it i learned that shit <laughs> young i'm hey, telling hey, you you take that with a heart i learned that shit you young, taking it bro, hard like listen, that. i think my mom first one who put me down on that like bro it is better to have it makes so much sense it, it's better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it now i do use the things that i oh, have David, it's no. always gonna become David. a time no. i'm telling you i got shit on me but i got shit on me that i ain't, i ain't used for years but it's always gonna be useful for to me for example like these this this lanyard i got right here i don't even remember where i got it from bro but I kept it before I even had the keys. Before I even had a car, and before I even had keys, I been had this lanyard. And when I finally got my car, I got a fucking lanyard for my keys. So it's better to have it. I need the need and I have it. But I got his Forty Eight Laws of Power book. So I also grabbed the Art of Seduction book. But I mean, what you take from it so far? Man, you know I've been reading it, man. So you know I like to dumb everything down because you know, yeah, he, you know he, he talks it's about for you to understand. Yeah, yeah, of course. I like to make things easier. Unlike you, you like to make everything. <laughs> I, I ain't say that. You want to turn everything. The rock I ain't say that, you know, I'm like, bro, why are we gonna make this eat, bro? No, bro, let, let. Hey, I understand. Boat, my brother, I mean, I ain't even gonna. I'm not Einstein. You, you kind of see <laughs> what I'm saying? So yeah. you know what, what he what he talks about is different types of seductors, right? Mm -hmm. So um, or seducers. So seducers, seducers, mm -hmm. like different ways people seduce others, like you know, women. Like the, the, different different ways how men seduce women, mm -hmm. or how women seduce men, or just how men and women seduce each other. Basically, yeah. so you know, I broke it down. You know, like um, he, he, I think he used different terminology. He calls like rakes, um, sirens, different things like that. But for me, I compared everything to animals. You want to know? Yeah, animals, wild, is you, you yeah. animals is easy. You you feel me? Animals is easy. Animal planet. So I'm about to break <laughs> everything down for you right now. All right, let's hear it. So the first type of seducer that um I got from from this book, from my perspective, is mm -hmm. the turtle. The turtle. The turtle. You mean the tortoise? Bro, no. The, I'm the, just the saying. All right. I'm saying, like, 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 what's up with you, bro? You got to always. Because we're not everything. here, I just think. No, nah, you just got to always add your input <laughs> to everything, bro. So I just think of the tortoise and the hare every time. So it kind of make me think of that. The that's, tortoise. That's, and, that's the old fable. I know yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, facts, but facts, but facts, go ahead. Go ahead. Facts, facts. Let, let me go into it. Let me tell you why the, the tortoise is the worst out of all the seductors. The worst. This nigga, this is the dude that's, he's up 24-7. He never sleeps. He, you know, you know that that late night text that you get from the girl to be like, "Hey, you, uh, you still up?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. He That's always it. up. He, he <laughs> never misses it. So the tort, the tortoise is, is like the dude. He, he's always, he, he's your girl's friend. Like mm -hmm. he, he's the dude your girl tell. Oh, now nah, I knew him for so long. Mm. Oh, he only your friend. This and that. But the moment you mess up, that nigga gonna beat up. <laughs> he gotta take it. He, he gonna, he gonna, he gonna beat, beat up. Ready. You feel me? He's always gonna have that shoulder. To, you feel me? For the crowd, for yeah. cry on, and that shoulder finna turn into a dick, man. Like, <laughs> you gotta watch that nigga, bro. You gotta watch. You gotta watch this nigga. This nigga is so patient. Mm. Like I'm talking about, they'll be friends for two, three, four, five years, bro. Mm -hmm. And he'll be like, damn. Slow and steady. You know, you slow and steady. Slow and steady. Yeah, yeah. You feel me? Like this nigga. A patient. The thing about it, the turtle, he he never has really one girl. He just have a a, a lot of female so got friends. A yeah, you feel me? Okay. So this the nigga you never you probably never expect, mm -hmm. but he getting you. He, he getting them all. He, he really yeah. getting hey, them all. One, one, he, if he, he don't cool get them today, all, he cool if he don't get them tomorrow, cool. he gonna get them someday. One That's day. all I'm saying. <laughs> one day, bro. I'm telling you, and you know you won't even know it, man. Mm. You want to kind of like myself. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but what, what hey, else man. you got? What else you got? You, so you, you, you the worst one. I think this this the worst nigga. I mean, out I, I, I haven't heard them all yet. I, I think I want to hear them all. You, and then this I'm the worst nigga out of all of them. I'm not tell you. Nah, this nigga too. He pretty bad. This dude, awful. You did it. This right here is the vulture, the the, the, the savage, vulture, the, 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 okay. the scavenger. You feel me? You know how vultures operate, right? Yeah, they don't you, do for it. They, 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 they go anything that time. dead on the road. That, that, that's they, they food. That's, that's they food. So the vulture that he looks for uh, insecure women, somebody that's insecure. Mm -hmm. You, you know, nigga praying on so, somebody he that's going through a breakup, somebody that's going through a hard time. Because you know when people are vulnerable. When people don't have those barriers up, they're easier. It's easier for you to get them. You yeah. Kind of see all the saying? defenses are down. Yeah, they can't all the make sound Like you're sad, and then like very you, you bring them something, and then you be like, hey, boom. Mm, snatch the ass yeah, up. They yeah, ain't you, even you, know boom, it. Boom, boom. <laughs> you kind of see what I'm saying? Insecure. You, you you know you know what they looking for? Boom, and right there. So the vulture, like he he sit up high, and he just yeah, he, 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 he just he, look over everything. He, he he waits for somebody that's damaged. And then as soon as they damaged, he swoop in. Exactly. Or he knows he knows how to find. You know, damaged people, damaged women, damaged people. You kind of see what I'm saying? That mm -hmm. This is kind of like a narcissist. That this is kind of like somebody who just, you know, they they know 
they know who to look for. Mm-hmm. And, and, you know, they pretty bad. Not as bad as the turtle. You kind of <laughs> see what I'm saying? But yeah. in my opinion, you know, the turtle is, is the worst nigga out of all of these. You got to watch, you gotta watch the, the, the vulture. Yeah, no, nah, no. Nah, I'm saying, how do you watch the vulture? You kind of, you know what I'm saying? Man, like, listen, you just got to stay clear, boy, because them vultures, I know, I know a couple of them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I know a couple niggas, hey. niggas. Hey. Hey, man, I already know it, man. But, you know, another one, um, another good one on here is the mermaid. Okay, the mermaid. Yeah, the mermaid. Men can't even be mermaids. Oh, merman, whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> whatever you want to be, but let me tell you why I call it the mermaid. Because, you know, mermaids, they supposed to be mythical creatures, man. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, they, they supposed to be mythical creatures. You know, things that don't exist. This the nigga that don't exist. They, this the people <laughs> that don't exist. And the reason why I say they don't exist is because when you first meet them, everything is perfect. Mm. Everything is, they're like oh, it's like too good. Like, yeah, too it's too good. good. It's like they check off all the lists. You kind of you, you kind of <laughs> see what I, when they say some things. When you want to find that ideal person, you got to start taking stuff off your list. You got to mm-hmm. scratch this and that. Yeah, I mean, yeah. okay, you 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 want somebody you gotta that, that just think. You, you got to see what I'm yeah, saying. Bad them. body nights for at least a ten out of ten. Check, checks off of all the lists, but. You know they say that's not realistic. You got to take some stuff off. Right. Yeah. So the mermaid in the beginning, everything's gonna be checked off, right? Everything. But ten out of ten. Ten All out of ten. But let me tell you though, that's impossible in life. <laughs> it's always it's always some skeletons in the closet. It's mm-hmm. always gonna be something that that you're gonna find out later on. You be like, damn. That's why it, it is always something that's right hard to you, deal that, with. Underlying bro. outlier. Yeah, the under, man, and it's always something big, man. It's always something big. Next up on the list is the lion. Mm-hmm. You know, this right here, this the king of the jungle. This the dude, you know, walk up, head high, you feel me? <laughs> Mad, confident. Okay. You know, whenever pride, yeah, pride, pride. Mm-hmm. big confidence. You feel me? Okay. Whenever they see, whenever they see the prey, they feel an attack. They don't even think about it. You feel me? They mm-hmm. Just own it. Snatch them up. Snatch them up. They don't you know, care if, if the spouse right next to them. You, you feel me? They don't care, bro. I'm telling you, the, the line, big confidence. You know, they they see something they want. They about to go. Hey, they about to go get it. Mm-hmm. Off real, you it, they don't. They might not always succeed, but you know, they about to go get it. Okay, okay. High confidence. Hey, you need that though. Whether you're a man or woman, you need that. Because yeah. if you if you don't have confidence, the other the opposite sex can smell that shit. But if you're a man, you walk up to a woman, you're not confident. She can smell that shit. She ain't gonna give you the time of day. So definitely gotta have the confidence. Yeah, man. So one hundred percent. What made you? What? How did you? What made you? Let me ask. What was his um, object that he used? Um, you know, what I'm saying in the book. The, um, I I probably compare the lion to like the um. Mm, I wouldn't say the siren. It, it, maybe the siren because you know, like, you know, you know, the siren kind. Of, but the siren attracts people. Wait, I'm assuming out of every animal you give, isn't there like a comparable object that he used in the book? Yeah. Well, yeah. Of so course. what's the exact um, object that I can't? Th- I can't think of the word right now that mm-hmm. he used exactly. But I think he compared it to like a, a person, kind of like um. Well, look, the exact like, word doesn't really matter. No, 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 because I know he like he compared whoever he compared. Um, um, let me see, not Marcus Rayleigh, but um, um, Julius Caesar. Julius, Julius, Julius Caesar. Caesar would probably be an example of a line because you know Julius Caesar. He was at the time he was like the king of Rome. He was mm-hmm. a conqueror and stuff like that. He he, he was the winning. Tourist. So so yeah, he he was anything that he seen that he wanted. He, he was gonna say he has a, a, yes, a good thing. Yeah, the good quote he used to always say, Vive de la Vici, or something like that. Mm-hmm. So, that that it, that translates from Italian to, I came, I seen, I conquered. Mm-hmm. So, you, you can see Julius oh, yeah, Caesar, he that nigga, you feel me? That's hard. I came, I seen, I conquered. You feel me? Since the day I was born, when I seen it, I wanted, I conquered. Whatever okay. I want, I got it. So, you know, Julius Caesar would probably be the line. I don't remember the word exactly, but I, I would say Julius Caesar would probably be a, a line. Whatever he's saying, he about to go get it. So, I want, only, reason, only reason I asked that, because I wanted to kind of... Look in the mind of Robert Greene because I know he's a mm-hmm. he's a very intellectual person. What were some of the characteristics that he used to describe, you know, Julius Caesar or whatever to make you feel as though it, you can connect it to the lion? I'm just trying to see how you connect. Because it. J- j- that's what I just told you. You kind of see Julius Caesar. He, he was winning. I came. I seen. I conquered the lion. He is conquering whatever he wants. Predator, like, like when he sees the prey right there, boom, he's on it. It right. doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't matter if the odds of him winning there aren't too good. He, he's about to try it anyways. Got to. You Got feel to. me? The, the, I would compare the line to like the prey. You know how they say, you know, um, you miss every side you can't take the line. Gonna be out there shooting. Mm-hmm. He don't care. You feel me? Sure. Like I, I know, I know this dude at my job, man. It's like, bro, like did this the dude that you pop, but he don't get no female. You, you look at him like, bro, ain't no way this nigga gonna get no female, bro. Mm-hmm. But the thing about it is, every time you see a girl that you want. Bro, 
Nigga, 100% accuracy. Nah, I mean, you feel me? He probably shooting about a good, you feel me, 32%. You feel me? But he's shooting, though. He's shooting. And you feel me? Like, from the outside looking in, you probably be like, yeah, this nigga got the females. But, like, bro, like, you, he's shooting at a 32% because he's shooting. He's going to get something in there anyway. You mm-hmm. feel me? <laughs> you know, it's interesting. Lions only sleep, like, four hours a day. You feel me? How many hours do you sleep, man? What you trying to say? You trying to call yourself a lion? Nah, I was just saying, I, 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 I need more. I sleep about six now, but I'm trying to get, like, seven. But, no, nah, I said that because it's it just crazy how you were saying the lion is going to eat, it's going to attack regardless because... Being that the lion sleeps for four hours a day, when it's up, he ain't got no choice but to be rolling. You know what I'm saying? He ain't got no choice but to be out there hunting every single day. So I think that was interesting. But yeah, what you got? Wait, I mean, you know what happened to Julius Caesar, right? He got killed. <laughs> exactly. So, you know, that's what I, the lion sleeps four hours a day. When you king, everybody wants your head. Hey. <laughs> that's how I go, man. Oh wait, no. I think they, I think they sleep twenty hours a day. I think oh, they only twenty up hours four. a day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Damn it, I think that's well, right. Yeah. Oh well. That's different. I mean, that's because you see what type different. of time crunch you got, right? <laughs> but you gotta make that shit. Happen. I know the thing about lions. You know, like the the male lion really doesn't do much. Believe it or not, the female does all the hunting. You know, do all of that. You feel mm-hmm. me? So like the, the male lion is always protected. Like the male lion. He, he only has to fight when he has to because he you kind of because you know like I used to tell um I used to tell about like like with, with situ- certain situations whatever you're going through let me know if you're going to be the deal with it because you know I, you know you knew me back then you know I I ain't used to deal with situations the right way man like if I had to deal with it you, you already know because like you're like nah don't even worry about it because you already know it's gonna go up like for sure, for sure, for sure. like in any oh, situation I be, I be telling my girl too like listen only call me yeah, yeah if, if it's if it's time if it's, if like that I swear to God that's how I that's am, what I tell her like listen. Do not, uh, only call me if it is time. If it's if, you, if it's ready, if it's time, because that's all it's gonna be. Other than that, don't let me know yeah, about sister, it. Don't. I be telling my sister the same thing. You know, don't don't. You feel me? Yeah. Like unless like, cause you know, like when, when you know with somebody that you rocking with, bro. Like, hey, <laughs> sometimes hey, you just don't know how to deal with certain situations, bro. Like, 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 like you know, you let me know right then and there, cause you know it's been a hey, boom. <laughs> yeah, yeah, quick. Zero to yeah, like, but the next got? one I got. The snake on here. Snakes. The gotta snake. watch out for the snake. You gotta watch out for the snake. You feel me? They they in the grass. They see everything. They like they, this would be the person you know that'll see um that see somebody right. They see something that they want, but they're not gonna approach them right away. They'll try to figure out a mm. way to approach them the right way to where they have to mess with them. Mm. You kind of see what I'm saying? The, the, the snake is pursuing you, but you you don't even know, you don't even know it. You feel me? It's kind of like. Damn, like, like, like when, 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 when they get you, it's like you didn't even know. Like, like they'll, they'll, they'll come up, uh, they'll attract you, like, like they'll, they'll say something, and like you be like, you have to start a conversation. Right, right. You like by the time, time, by the time you see him, your ass already caught. Exactly. <laughs> when you see the snake, that I like that. You know, once you see the snake, <laughs> when, when, once that conversation starts, you already in it. It's done. You feel me? You 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 stuck. They like you kind of know like an anaconda. Mm-hmm. You you know. You know, like like with the anaconda, you know they they, they suffocate you. Yeah. You know, the 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 more the more you fight, the more yeah, you struggle. The the, the, the the faster the faster the snake got you. Mm-hmm. That's it. That's yeah. it. So, so the, snake. the next one on here is the dog. Oh, the dog. <laughs> the dog, man. <laughs> you you. Wanna... That's why they be saying niggas, niggas. You know, they always compare us to dogs. Bro. But yeah, but uh, but the thing about it is, I don't know if you had a dog or have a dog, but yeah. bro, dogs are lit, man. Dogs are mad loyal. Cause you know I got a dog, man. It's like it don't matter what, bro. Every time I come home, no matter where I come from, this nigga always excited to see me. But the they man's best friend. The first person at the door. Exactly. So I'm saying, how you gonna comp- compare dudes? You call it a that's a good thing. You feel me? <laughs> dogs are mad loyal. You feel like as long as you take care of a dog, bro. Dogs mad loyal. Dogs always gonna be there. I'm telling you, every situation, like I'm telling you, you come to my house, you try to, you start acting crazy, you start talking crazy, bro. Like, oh, <laughs> dog going push you. up. You feel me? Like, hey, yeah. hey, like it, it's like, bro, like. Like, I had I had a dog and um I mean my dog I, I love the shit out of my dog she ended up dying um from like it's some type of little disease that dogs get when they're young she's playing with this puppy next door mm-hmm. and the puppy but first off this was the smallest type of dog I've ever seen like okay not ever seen but in person like the shit only grows to be as big as your hands bro like mm-hmm. it was like a little brown it was like some type of terrier like the shit was. Fully grown, but like a fucking ant, like a um, like a toy, bro. Mm-hmm. Little brown dog, and um, my neighbor. So they used to play all the time. My dog, I had an American Pit, and that dog got sick and ended up dying. 
And like a week later, my dog started throwing up and shit. And then like four days after that, then she died. But I'm I said all that shit to say, nah, it's cool. I'm, I can't wait to get another dog. But I said all that to say, um, dogs take a lot to take care of. Like, they're, they're exactly. a big responsibility. Bro, my dog eats better than me. Like, for real. <laughs> you feel me? My dog eats better than me. Like, I buy my dog the best food. But you know, you know why? Because, you know, my dog gives me that the undivided love, the undivided attention, you know, that you just... It's like you have you no feel like choice. You feel for you. Yeah, exactly. That, that's why I compared this person to, to, to the dog, right? You kind of see what I'm saying? Because this the person, you know, he, he's always he's not always going to be there to to give their significant other that attention, that 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 mm-hmm. emotional support, mm. that 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 real shoulder to cry on. They're like they they're really just you kind of see like like, uh, like 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 just with, unconditional uh, with, love with, with yeah. Pete Davidson with, uh, yeah, with, with bro, bro. <laughs> bro man my think dude, about it, bro. y'all bad I can't believe this I, I can't I, 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 bro lit bro he done learned how to be a dog bro <laughs> like I'm telling you I'm telling <laughs> you he done learned how to be because think about it bro he must have Kanye more. is worth ten billion dollars <laughs> I know ten not mil ten billion with a B ten <laughs> billion dollars bro do you know how do you know how long it would take. It, it, matter of fact, you, it would take you three hundred years to save up a billion dollars, bro. Right. JG's off of working. That's what you work at every day, like billion. ten billion dollars. And he bro. lost his bitch. To yes, Pete Davis. You want to know why? Because Pete, I, I guarantee you, Pete Davis ain't spending no money on Kim Kardashian. She don't need it, right? But I bet you, I bet you, he up on the phone with her. He Facetime. They falling asleep on Facetime. Writing you, poems. And writing shit. poems. You feel me? <laughs> uh, you, roses are red. Ugly. Violets are blue. Showing up. Okay. Showing up. I love window. you. You got to You he out there with a the boom See, box the in the eighties. You feel me? Like he doing a temptation. He doing all, all, the, little all the little things that you know when we working as men that we forget. You feel me? It, it's it's crazy because most success, most lines, most successful men lose their women to niggas like this. You want to know why? Because mm. we it's sometimes like you know we we winning so much we got this we got that. You don't it's see like you losing at the same the little, time. You don't see you don't see the little things yeah. because it, you don't got so used to seeing the big things that you forget like the little things. You know she wants you to like. Walk on the beach with her. You mm. want to know, do little runs, do little stuff, you know, write her little yeah, poems, facts, you know, send her little weird texts, be like, hey, babe, just thinking about you. You feel me? Knowing that's that facts. you're like thousand, thousand miles away, she, that's going to warm her heart. Like, them little things, that, that that's where the Yeah, it's the little things that really do matter. With women, bro, they, they definitely, like, need attention. Like, and I ain't saying that, like, they just, like, desperate for it, but no, nah, you can't. You're going to have a successful relationship if you only focus on your success and you don't focus on your woman as well. Like, I ain't on cap. I even suffer a little bit from that. I'm conscious enough to know mm-hmm. and, and to catch it because I, I analyze so much that when you're successful and you focus on success, you can't tend to only look at the big picture of things like a lion. But at the same time, um, if you got to analyze, if you analyze well enough, you can tell off certain tendencies that change mm-hmm. and from your woman. And you're like, hold on, wait, something, something wrong, something mm-hmm. changed. And then if you're able to cooperate with them and, and have come to an understanding and talk things out and y'all comprehend how each other feel, then you can go ahead and make changes from there. But I'm, I be so focused on the big picture yeah. so much that I did notice, like, damn, I stopped sending her these little texts mm-hmm. type shit. I stopped doing X, Y, and Z. Yeah, I, if you don't mind me asking, because, you know, man, I've been, you know, I've been single for a hot minute. You know, <laughs> I, ain't, I ain't looking for nothing, you feel yeah. me? But, you know, sooner or later when I get to there. When I get to, to that point, you know, I find, you know, my main squeeze, you feel me, my, my uh, <laughs> yeah. sugar lemon iced tea type. Yeah, so you cinnamon feel? apple. So, cinnamon apple. You <laughs> feel me? So, so, I know you a busy man. So, how do you got, how do you balance that relationship? Because I know, like, you're right now, you're trying to build your empire, and you're trying to do certain things, and you can't, you know, you can't be that dog, man. You can't be, you can't be at the door to greet her 24-7 every time she comes in. So, so right. like, what, what do you do to still give her that love and attention, but, you know, still be where you got to be? So, how, how do you balance that? Well, I mean, for one, I just um I got a big heart. So I, I do when I love, I love big, I love hard. So like when I even though I don't do the little things, like when I do go out of my way for her, it is something that she really appreciates. Like we we might do I mean, it I also consider the little things as well, but like of course when we go one thing that I always did ever since um I met her, like before we even was official, I always open her door. Like always mm-hmm. open her door, getting out the car, getting in the car doing that um, when we go to stores and things like that. So, I mean, stuff like that. Um, we talk pretty much every day because we had these little check-in calls. Mm-hmm. Now, this was her idea, but oh, cool. I start, um, I start when I realized I was um, too, too focused on the big picture yeah. and we stopped doing those and things changed, 
I restarted that. I was like, look, let's no matter what, we gotta do a check in every day. It don't matter if it's five minutes, ten minutes. 100%. You know what I'm saying? And get that call out of nowhere. She called me. I called her. Um, I actually, <laughs> I actually uh, did because th see, this is what I did, bro. I asked her what because she made it known to me through her actions, and I just asked her like, you know, what's going on? What exactly do you really want from me? Like, you know, because I'm doing this. You know, doing this money wise, doing this support wise, you know, and then so I'm like, what do you, what else do you want? She tell me it's these little things, like you said, like writing, literally writing poems. Like, cause I tell her, I be like, look, I really think about you all the time type shit. I'm out here grinding, I'm yeah, out here trying to, it. it's cause I'm trying to bring this shit back home. Yeah. But she like, okay, I understand that. But if I don't know, then it's like, how, mm -hmm. how do I, how do I feel that? Yeah, for so real. she That's like, cool. look, I, I just w would like it. If you actually, if you think about me on some shit, just text me that. You know what I'm saying? Like, write a. She she really wanted me to write a poem out for her on some shit. Like mm -hmm. that little shit. And I've been I've been little by little doing all the little things that she liked to got there. Hard woman. <laughs> because bro, happy wife, happy life, man. Bro, that, bro, you know bro, what I'm saying? Up over here, that's, <laughs> that's your ass Yo, up. Bro, like I, you, you, but, you. you, you <laughs> Hey, you gotta do what you well, gotta I do. Well, yeah, well, you like you caught on to it, but I'm telling you, it's a Pete Davidson out there. It's a Pete Davidson. <laughs> I know. And I, value, I really value my woman, and, and I value what she do for me. Like, and the thing about it, I always support whatever she do, and I always like I let her talk to me. Like when I get home, like that's another thing we do. I think I said this before, but like we make it our thing to like watch a show together every day when I get home. And like, when she cooks for me, you know, we eat together and shit like, it's just a little shit, bro. Like, when right. I was focused on the big picture and I'm like doing my diet and fasting and shit like that and I'm making my own food and shit, she mm -hmm. ain't like that, bro. She like, if, I, if she asked me, can she cook breakfast for me? And I'm like, well, I can't eat that. You know what I'm saying? She don't, Damn, she don't like that, bro. bro. So I let her, I've been letting her cook for me again and shit. You know, we've been eating together. Spend, all you do is spend time. All, all you have to do, all you have to do is give her more attention, bro. That's all you gotta do, and it's gonna it's gonna make everything else better. You know, hey, you know, take David's advice, because you know I, I, I can't give y'all no advice. So y'all go, you know, listen to David. But the next one on here is the peacock. Okay. Yeah, yeah. the peacock. You know what peacock's are name known for? Man, flashy. Fla oh, the feathers, you feel yeah. me? This right here is the dripper. You wanna know why? You wanna know what's crazy? I, I've never really been dripping or nothing like that. I never preach. I'm like, bro, why would I spend all this money on clothes? It's not gonna do nothing. But you know, actually. It, it, it's actually some people they so drip man they can you know they attract other people like with the way they dress with the you know with the way they smell their appearance i don't know are you familiar with Casanova? not the rapper but the real Casanova. Yeah, you yeah, know yeah. that they say Casanova, he would stun was he a pimp you wouldn't know pimp. well that's a, but a lot of people steal this man this is like an ancient dude you mm -hmm. feel me a lot of people stole that name you want to know why Casanova was a dripper he would stun true, the women with his with with, with his with, with, with his with, with his clothes, that, that, that that's how um, Robert Greene design uh, described it in, in in the book. He said he would memor memorize women with his appearance, with his drip, and you know, and, and, and the way he moved. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this dude, this the person that smells good, that, that that's dripped out one hundred percent every time you see him. They can be in a uniform, like everybody wearing the same clothes, but somehow <laughs> they got this. You you feel me? They yeah. got it looking different. Dapper Dan, Dapper Dan. Yeah, they, somehow they make it look different. Somehow they drip that, they pipe it up, man. Hey, Dapper Dan. For real, bro, I'm telling you. This, smooth criminal. Man, 100%. This is a smooth criminal right here, right here. Oh, you right. know, Dion say you look good, you feel good. You feel good, play good. This so, feel good, smell good, you oh, feel walk good. You feel, <laughs> like, nah, I be seeing Talk folks. Good. Man, I done seen, I seen this woman one time, bro. She was like, 100%. I'm like, bro, she Walk, like just with her walk, bro. Mm -hmm. With her walk, I'm like, damn. Like her, everything was on point, bro. The way she walked, you the way what she was dripped, what she had on, the way she spoke. Mm -hmm. I was like, yo. And it's crazy because like her appearance wasn't really like she probably was like maybe like a six in the face, bro. Damn. But like the way she walked, talked, like you could tell she was confident. Then you know she was dripped, like she was dripped. I'm like, bro, how that? You, you feel me? <laughs> yeah. like, it's crazy. Like when you get older, you start seeing like you know the way you put your clothes together. Yeah, mm -hmm. nah, it, it's definitely something, man. And then uh, the last one on here is the morning bird right here. This is the smooth talker. This is the person that, that could talk anybody into anything. They're, but the person, the thing about the morning bird, you feel me? You know, birds are known for chirping, making a nice, beautiful sound. Yeah. But you know, birds, they always shitting on your car, bro. <laughs> I ain't even gonna lie to you. Yeah. So the bad thing about the morning bird, they, this person is it, kind of like a liar. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Mm, they got like the gift of gab. The gift of gab, but you already know. you. But they... they 
this the this the per this is usually niggas, bro. Like this the <laughs> nigga who's gonna tell you he got this and that. In reality, he ain't got it, bro. Like I I know a couple bro, more than birds, bro. You wanna <laughs> feel me? Matter of fact, you know we ain't even got enough time to get into it right now, right. man. But you wanna know what? We might have to carry this on to the next episode. I, like I feel that. like I this like is an interesting topic, man. Real quick, real quick, um, on the YouTube, y'all comment below which one y'all feel like y'all is. You know whether it's the turtle, the vulture, the mermaid, the lion, the snake, the dog. The peacock or the morning bird um and make sure y'all also follow us on instagram make sure y'all subscribe to the channel you know i know you like the stuff we be talking about uh make sure y'all look us up on apple music apple podcast and shit we'll catch y'all next week yep. tune into the next episode we're gonna tell you which one that we think we are right here it's gonna yeah. be hey, a y'all gonna want to be on this next episode for sure